In this video, I'm going to share with you what waking up in sub-zero temperatures, boom, 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 actually feels like. For some of you who have never been in sub-zero temperatures camping, the thought about actually doing that can be quite intimidating, honestly. I mean, being way below here, I mean, Celsius, that's like a minus 17, minus 19 degrees Celsius, or below zero in Fahrenheit. That's where things get a little bit frosty. In a moment, I'm going to take you on one of my expeditions to show you, literally, as I'm waking up, I get my camera, I put it in my face, and I start rolling and explain what the actual feeling is like to wake in, in that temperature because it wasn't just like zero degrees, it was minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit that morning or about minus 34 degrees Celsius. It was freezing, folks. So part of the experience is managing your fingers, your toes, your nose, your ears, and everything else that could possibly freeze. It is very difficult to get up in the morning when it is that cold, but you know if you're going climbing or polar exploring, you don't really have a choice. Well, I suppose you do, but you've committed all this time, money, and effort to saying, hey, I'm going to go do this and having a good time. When I was on Denali a couple days, it got to minus 20, minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, or about minus 27 to minus 34 degrees Celsius. One of the climbers, I met his boot actually cracked. It sounded like a small gunshot. His boot literally cracked because he was using ski boots and it cracked and it was so cold that he got frostbite in his toes and had a real rough time. Camping in Antarctica, let me tell you, minus 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, minus 50 degrees. It was freaking cold. Managing that, you can learn about that in uh, Adventure Expedition 1. But what I'm going to do right now is take you to a video clip of when I was camping in minus 30 degree temperatures. Let's roll! Uh, to say it's cold is an understatement. It's at least minus 20. It's, per, it's between minus 20 and minus 30. I put my arms out and, ooh, man, it's, it's like ice water. It might even be colder. We're camped in an open space away from the trees, so of course we could get away from the road, follow the rules, which was extremely difficult, but here we are, and it's cold. Like, I put my arms out of the sleeping bag, and I'm literally shivering in seconds, so <clears throat> I'd have to fight with the changing in the bag, because it's going to be debilitatingly cold. We're, uh, we're staying in the bags a little bit longer wing for a little more sunlight uh, as you can see I'm already shaking oh yeah frost on me frost on the bag frost on the tent uh, this kind of sounds like a Dr. Seuss book or something <laughs> so uh, yeah when uh, camping and when it's this cold it's just cold. I really wish I actually had my minus 40 bag because it was that cold. I'd, uh, I'd push against the bag and create a cold spot. It was not pleasant. So I got to fight with getting ready and uh, struggle out today. Everything's covered in frost. So I got to do frost duty and I'm shaking enough. I got to put my arms back in the bag. What did you think about that, folks? Little bit chilly, yes, just because it's below the thermometer. I mean, this thermometer, it, it probably goes down to that cold, but man, that was a chilly night. So as you can see, there's a certain level of, <laughs> I'm freaking freezing, that you're going to have to deal with. It's just simply part of the deal. But you need to be prepared physically, have your clothing ready, but also mentally knowing that you're going to be freezing your off and you have to be prepared for that because when you prepare all of your clothing and all of your gear and you're mentally ready to go do this when it's that cold, you'll actually be better off. So literally practicing and envisioning how you're going to feel, what your response is going to be emotionally, and how you're going to take yourself through that process of being in super cold conditions is really important because if you haven't thought about the thought process and the emotional process of what you're going to decide 
to feel like, because really, as a professional speaker, I talk about attitude and facing adversity. The attitude is everything. Because as the famous Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, played by Johnny Depp, said, the problem isn't the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. Save? Exactly. So yeah, it's uncomfortable. It's totally uncomfortable. But that is the point where you're out, is to see what you are made of. It's not here. It's not here. It's here and here that makes all the difference to your experience in winter camping. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out my links in the description below to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my shows, World Beyond and Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more fun and information like this.